So let's review. You've given the safety room a B, which is an improvement from last year. You've given the corners an A plus, which is an improvement from last year. Where do you want to head next? We can do the linebackers. Let's do it, man. Linebackers, baby. I'm very interested in this one because the others, I knew what you were going to say pretty much. But linebackers, I'm curious. Last yeah. year, who was there? Who was in the room last year and what did you give them? They were a B last year. They but who been- were they? <laughs> Our guys, CJ Mosley, Quincy Williams, who you used to refer to as the bad of the two brothers. <laughs> um, and of course, we had Quan Alexander. And then we had some depth with. Um, Jamie and Sherwood, he didn't play a lot. He was coming back from an Achilles, but he did get some reps um, and, and showed very nicely. And I think th- I think they were a B room. I think that they could have been better. I think part of the the issue was just, you know, Quincy Williams is more of a project. He gets better every year. We first found him. He was literally off the garbage heap. I mean, he had no team. We picked him up as a freebie, right? Like off wait, just off waivers without an NFL job. Then he got better in that first year and then really started to come out last year, but still making some mistakes. There's still some, you're seeing some of the reasons why other teams had given up, but I also see a lot of potential in him. Like he could be really great. And I think we're starting to see some, like the longer he's on this team, the longer he's receiving good quality coaching, the better he's getting. But I can't say last year he didn't drag them down a bit because Mosley, who a lot of people want to put down, I don't know what they're on. He's the quarterback of the defense. He's super smart. He makes tons of tackles. He made Um, that one penalty, and I think people got down on him. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? People have, you know, make penalties. I mean, the best players, you know, you know, people want Mark Astor to be in the Hall of Fame. Well, one of the most memorable plays he made was the penalty that cost the Jets an opportunity to play in the AFC Championship game in 1986. So penalties happen, you know, but that doesn't take away from the fact that for the, you know, for the other 16 games, plus the other three quarters of that game, you know, he's our quarterback of the defense and what a defense it is. What about the other players? Well, you have Quan Alexander, who's gone now. He was okay. I thought Quan Alexander was pretty good. Yeah, he was fine. He filled the role. He cost us nothing, very cheap, filled the role. He wasn't great. He wasn't exceptional, but he, hey, he's a guy, another guy that was just free, that we just were able to take for nothing. He didn't, it cost us no capital. He didn't cost us a lot of money. And he filled the role. And that's so important on a football team to be able to find guys that don't cost high draft capital and don't, cost a lot of money towards the salary cap. I mean, every team has money that they can buy some expensive free agents and every team has first and second round picks. It's the teams that are able to fill roles. And he did that very well. He's gone now. Um, It doesn't make the defense bleed or or anything. We'll be fine. But he was a decent player and he helped us be a B room when when I give the B for last year. He's definitely part of that. So who's in the room this year? So this year we're looking at a return of Quincy Williams, who I expect to be even better because he's showing progression and growth. Yeah, literally weeks by weeks, month by month. And uh, CJ Mosley doesn't look like he lost a step. I think he's playing mostly with his intelligence now. Most of the value he brings is his instinct and his knowledge and the way he calls the defense. And then very excited to see more playing time for Jamie and Sherwood who did excellent in the few opportunities he got last year, looking great in camp. He's had a very good camp, very excited about Jamie and Sherwood. I actually think he's going to be a step up from Quan Alexander. Anybody else in the room that matters in the grade? Well, there's Chaz Surratt and Zaire Barnes. I think Zaire Barnes might not see a lot of action. He's a young guy we drafted, but he had a great camp. We're really excited. He's definitely a guy we can develop who might end up being I don't know. I don't know what his ceiling is, but he definitely could be a solid starter. And then there's Chad Surratt, who was cut. You know, he was drafted, and he was someone we liked. And then he got released, and we got him, and Salah seems to love him. He had some great moments in camp, and we'll see if he survives and stays on the squad. He has so far after the cuts, 
but we don't know what the actual 53 will be. You know, this could go on for another week of shuffling guys, but for right now, he's safe and on the roster. So a B still? I would say a B plus. I think we're going to, I think we're going to, Jamie and Sherwood's going to help lift us a little bit um, to a B plus. It might even be higher. I'm just going to be conservatively say a B plus. B plus. Well, sounds like you love the linebackers, buddy. I like the linebackers, man. All right. Who else I like? Who else? Jets. You know what I have to say about that? Go Jets! <laughs> <laughs>